All right, we're going to be replacing the pathetic horn that's on this 2017 Kia Forte S with a set of extra loud Hella trumpet type horns. But to do that, we have to remove and gain access to the original horn, which is just one horn for blowing uh, off the horn ring. There's a secondary horn that beeps that's under the hood that beeps when you lock the, the car up. But don't mistake it for this horn. The primary horn, warning horn, uh, that works off the horn button is under the right front fender well. To gain access to it, chalk the wheels, set the emergency brake, jack the car up from its jacking point for the front right wheel, and pull the front right wheel. All right, the next step is to remove the plastic inner fender well. Uh, it's easy to do. Uh, there's a number of things that you have to do first. You have to first remove the mud flap. That has three Phillips head screws that need to come out. And then two of those three have a square plug that plugs into the fender and into the body. These need to be pulled out. You can do that using a, a small bladed uh, common screwdriver. And then the rest of the clips that you'll see that, that go around the perimeter and including two up here under the front of the car are the push type uh, body pins. They, uh, to open them you just stick a screwdriver under it, pull it, you don't have to remove it completely, then you can grip it with your fingers and pull it out. Once you get those all removed, there's nothing else that keeps this fender well in place. Alright, this is the original horn. It's held in place, I believe, by a single bolt, but it also has a connector that comes off. You just squeeze, mash the detent on this, and then pull straight off, and your horn should be ready to come loose. Okay, this is right under the car, facing straight up into the fender wall. Front of the car is that direction. This is the outboard side of the passenger side. All right, the horn. The connection, I've already got it disconnected, but there's a squeeze and, and it removes. And now I'm going to take my uh, needle nose pliers. I need to get this down to where I can work with it. So I'm going to give this a squeeze, my needle nose pliers, and drop the wire down where I can get to it. All right, I give the ears on that little tab there a squeeze. And now you can push the wiring harness back out of the way and pull it down to where you work on it. There's a secondary up here, but I don't think I'm going to need to remove it. All right, the horn simply has a single 12 millimeter headed bolt that you can use a socket or a wrench on. And you loosen it up and just simply remove the horn. And the bracket appears to give me where an area where I can hook up both of my horns in place of this single lousy horn and uh, it should all tuck back up underneath that uh, that fender pretty well. Alright what we're going to be doing is of course we've removed the old Kia horn which was pathetic at best. It off of Amazon I ordered two of the Hella trumpet style horns. There's a high tone and a low tone and in this box it also included the relay if uh, if you were going to be wiring this all on your own but what we did is off of Amazon, we'll put the link up here later, uh, we ordered a complete wiring harness which already includes the, uh, the relay and a fusible link that is your main power source. Okay the original horn has a double connector. One of the link, one of the uh, connector points is a ground. The other one is the uh, positive or hot wire. Uh, the ground is a black wire that comes from the original wiring harness on the car. The hot lead is green. On the Hella horns, there's two connectors that are spade connectors like this that replace this. So we'll have to. Uh, wire these up in place of these two but uh, these are not polarity sensitive in other words you can make ground here positive here 
or ground here, positive here. So it doesn't really matter which line goes to which on the hella horn. Both horns have a positive and negative connection. On the hella horn, it makes absolutely no difference whether the positive goes here or here or the negative goes here or here. On the original wiring harness, it plugged into these two prongs that are down in here, which are semi-waterproof. And this is polarity sensitive. The uh, black wire that comes out of the wiring harness goes to the negative connection, the ground. And the green wire that comes out of the original wiring harness is for the positive side. So we need to make a note there because we're going to be using the positive side of the wiring harness to trigger our relay to operate these horns. This is the sound of the original factory Kia horn. This shows the way I have mounted these two horns. One mounted to the existing location where the old one came off of. And the other one I just added a new bolt and there was already a hole in position and I managed to just bolt it up in that position. Once the uh, fender flares back in it should pretty much keep most of the moisture and dampness off of the horns. I'm using the wiring harness with the relay uh, that came as an accessory uh, to hook up these horns. I've already got the two leads up here connected to the uh, horns. They're the female connectors, There's the ground and the hot lead. One goes to, one of each goes to each horn. And then uh, you've got the relay down here, which I'll mount to the body somewhere a little bit later. And then the ground also will be mounted to a ground on the body somewhere. And then uh, this is the fused link, the main line that will feed the power to the horns. These horns draw a little over five amps a piece and I don't think that the wiring on this car which was hooked to only one horn would be powerful enough or, or strong enough to handle uh, that much current. So I'm going to hook the hot lead to the battery or to a hot connection that's hot all the time and then these two leads uh, are what will trigger the uh, relay and those will be connected the hot red here will go to the green on the main wiring harness that came off the car and went to the horn I'm going to use that power source to trigger the relay and then the ground will go to the ground side all right this is your wiring harness and I'm going to just give you a quick rundown on how it's connected to the horns and then to your 12 volt source the harness has two leads that are identical that have female connectors on them. These are the two leads, one goes to each horn. Polarity is no question. There's, uh, we're using the hella horns. And then the uh, relay we're using, we just secured it somewhere with underneath that fender well with some tie wraps. But make sure that you run your ground to a ground source, a good ground source on the body. And uh, there's one in close proximity there close to the uh, windshield washer re reservoir. This lead here has two male connectors. I cut these off and splice the red wire to the wiring harness, the existing wiring harness for the original horn. I splice the red wire to the green wire. I splice the black wire to the black wire. You can use these type of connectors if you want. Makes it nice and simple. Then your main power lead is the one that goes to your battery source that's hot all the time and I'll show you on the car where I connected mine. The power source that I used is out of the main fuse panel. Uh, you can see my power lead that runs to my horn and here's the fuse and I replaced a 30 amp fuse with a 15 amp fuse. I run it up underneath this channel because this is all plastic and rubber and I run it to the other side where it comes out 
and then I've got it insulated as it goes back down through the fender well to the horns. All right, the main fuse panel. That's where I pull power from. And you can see I've got this insulated here, but I've got it coming up and running into a blank, unused, hot all the time terminal. So I just made my, my connectors on and it's good to go. Okay, now the dual horns are in here. Let's see how they sound. Pretty loud. I'll put a link in the description below. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.